over a month, Fall River taxpayers will vote on whether to move forward to build a new Durfee High School. The plan to replace the 40-year-old building has been in the works for a few years now, but recent flooding at the school has further illustrated how much a new building is truly needed. Eyewitness News reporter Michaela McDonald has more new at 530. A special election is scheduled for March 6th to vote on the proposed new school. Today we spoke with Fall River's mayor about the proposal. Mayor Jaisal Correa says Fall River is ready for a new Durfee High School. Well, the school is, is literally falling apart. Uh, you, you walk the halls of Durfee High School uh, and it's uh, again outlasted its useful life. You may remember seeing this video on Eyewitness News a few weeks ago. An estimated 50,000 gallons of water leaked out from a burst pipe in Durfee High School. Aging pipes were blamed for the mess. Besides the flood, school officials say they've also had problems with the roof and windows. We had a flood that was just such an unfortunate event uh, that was uh, obviously unpredictable, but just continues to show the aging infrastructure that's there. And that flood really destroyed many of the science classrooms. Here are the renderings for the proposed new $263 million high school posted on the district's website. The mayor says the Commonwealth would pay for almost 65% of the cost, leaving a remaining balance of roughly $95 million for Fall River. And it's just going to be a state-of-the-art school with all the bells and whistles, but still at an affordable price for our community. Uh, while other communities are looking for uh, tax overrides, that will cost taxpayers, you know, two, three hundred dollars a year. Our school, we're looking to hopefully be at a hundred dollars or less a year. Uh, that's our kind of our target. Well, we might be at 110, 120 uh, a year annually as a payment for the school. But we're told there will be multiple special city council meetings to provide more information about this project to the public. If approved, construction could start as early as next year. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.